Last month when I spoke here, I had no intention of mentioning the sexually explicit materials available in our local public school libraries at this meeting. I had hoped I was going to be able to be my normal nerdy self, be able to complain about your budget priorities and why the pothole down the street from me hasn't been filled since 2017, or how the rent is just too damn high. But Madam Mayor, at the last meeting, you effectively called me a liar in front of roughly 50 people in this room, half of whom are high school kids, in what I'm guessing was an attempt to gaslight me. And since you're not my wife, I can't let that stand without a response. <laughs> the two books I've mentioned as most objectionable are titled, This Book is Gay, which teaches kids how to use sex apps, and Gender Queer, which shows underage kids engaging in various sexual activities. On the very day you accused me of lying, This Book is Gay was listed as available in Edward Harris Middle School Library. Were you trying to say that it, was, it wasn't there at all during the school year? <clears throat> Let's move on to gender queer. Gender queer was listed as available in Sheldon High School as late as April 26, 2023, three months ago, during the most recent school year. This book was purchased, and here's the purchase order, showing it was purchased in October 2022. This would suggest that it was available during most of last school year. It would also be very odd to say that the books are not available in the schools when several of the school librarians have spoken at the school board meetings defending the addition of these books to the library shelves. So my line or the school librarian's line? Now, I have to admit that gender queer being available in a high school rather than a middle school means that what I said at the last meeting was, as the mayor put it, not factually true. You were right. This pornographic book is not available to kids as young as 12. It is available to kids as young as 14. That's so much better. Oh, but the book that teaches kids to sign up for sex apps, that's still available to kids 12 years old. Congratulations on mastering that basic politician skill of being factual but not accurate. Well done, you. Madam Mayor, members of the council, I hope my words have taught you a few valuable lessons today. First, I was right and you were wrong. Second, if the school board is telling you that these books are not available in the public school, library, public school libraries, they are lying to you. And if they aren't lying to you, and they have removed these books from the libraries, that means the school board isn't being transparent with parents, which you as a former school board member should find troubling. And finally, and most importantly, don't ever call me a liar again, because as I think I've established today, I bring receipts. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your comments. And as a reminder, once again, that the city council has no jurisdiction or authority on school district matters. Anybody who has questions regarding curriculum or any other matters should take it up with the school board and the school district. <laughs> <laughs>